I'm wondering if you could clarify what exactly it means to be reformed and confessional. I have a lot of ways to answer that question, but one of the ways is to say that, a ref that what it means for us to be a reformed and confessional church to begin with is that we have uh, doctrinal standards. We believe that the Westminster uh, Confession of Faith and the Larger and Shorter Catechism are an accurate summary of what the Bible itself teaches. Another thing that it means is it means that we live in a way that's very conscious of being connected to the rest of the church historically, so across time as well as across space, because it means we recognize that the Holy Spirit is not just at work through the scriptures right here, right now, but that he's actually been instructing the church across the centuries. And so as we you know, take hold of the doctrines that were gotten hold of in the Reformation, going back to the scriptures and laying hold of the fact that salvation is through Christ alone, by faith alone, by God's grace alone, and we learn that out of the scripture alone, it's not simply that we have to rediscover that for ourselves. Now, we have to own it, but by owning it, we're laying hold of what the Holy Spirit has taught the church across the centuries. It also, though, by being confessional and reformed in that sense, it's a way of saying we know that we are connected to not just this congregation. We're part of a much larger confessional church. So we're part of the Presbytery of Northern California and Nevada, of the Orthodox Presbyterian Church. In a sense, to be reformed is to see God for who he really is as God and us as human beings for who we are and to uh, give God his rightful place. The fact that God is God and we're not also means he's sovereign in salvation. Um, he's the one who takes the initiative to save lost and hopeless sinners like us. You know, it's giving God his due, giving God his rightful place, giving God the glory due his name. In essence, part of the, that's a very heart of Reformed theology, treating God as God. And related to that, directly related to that God-centeredness of what it means to be Reformed is the fact that it means that we're Christ-centered, you know, because we're God-centered, because that we really believe what the Scripture tells us about who God is and who we are, we know that the only way that we come to God is through Jesus Christ, by His obedience and by His atoning work. And you know, one of the, Joel talked about uh, the fact that we're, connect, that we're connectional and then also that we're confessional. One of the other values of being a confessional church in, in other words, that we have the, our West, the Westminster Confession of Faith and the two catechisms, is it adds stability to the life of the church. Um, if you come here, there's no question in your mind, you know, what you're going to hear from the pulpit or what you're going to hear in the Sunday school classroom. There's a solidness, a rootedness, a stability. It's not just, you know, changing every week or, you know, next month there's going to be a different flavor. We really believe that our confession and catechisms are what the Bi are a summary of what the Bible actually says.